Ann and Nancy Wilson. Let's start with the big honor this year, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductees. How does that feel? It feels good. <laughs> yeah. It feels like a, more than like a trophy or just an award. It feels like something we've, you know, kind of earned, like a lifetime achievement thing uh, from, you know, 35 plus years of doing this in the public eye. I want to get to one of the excerpts from your portion of the speech. And you said, uh, I had the wrong gender, looks, DNA, and hometown for music <laughs> business success in the era we grew up in. Where'd that come from? Where'd you get that, that impression that you were just the wrong person to be successful? Well, when I was first starting out back uh, in high school, um, you know, I just kind of would tag along with guys that were in bands, you know, guys in school that, that were in bands, and I would just go, hey, I can sing, I can sing. And many times they would just go, ah, uh, you know, you don't have what it takes, you know. And they would mean, um, you're not tall, blonde, size zero, or they would mean any number of things I was not that would fit the stereotype of what they needed in, in bands. When I finally did get to be in a band, it wasn't based on any one of those stereotypes for me. Was that a struggle just in the beginning or was it a struggle over the decades? Over the decades. And uh, when, when you ask what about women today, you know, what, what do they have to go through? Well, they have to go through a lot of the same thing. A lot of women try to trade on their looks and trade on their sexuality instead of trading on talent. And, you know, that's probably pretty short-lived, usually. Can we talk about the book, Kicking and Dreaming? Yeah. I mean, when you say tell all, <laughs> Kicking and Dreaming tells a lot. I can't say all because only you know if it's all. But I want to start with um, Crazy on You, one of the early hits, and the inspiration for those lyrics. We still have time. We might still get by. Every time I think about it, I you know, that was back in the 70s when, during the Vietnam War. Needless to say, we were worried about the world situation. Everything just seemed like it was just going to hell in a handbasket. And the stress of it was what caused me to write the lyrics to Crazy Hunt. And um, Crazy on You meaning we could talk it out, we could yell it out, we could, we could let out. Let off steam. Let out a little bit of crazy. Yeah. yeah. 